Where went, was it? I went to the shop to buy a bottle of water and Neil just stormed in and was like, Shaquini. Like, that's not my name, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I like, the butcher. Like, yeah. <laughs> I got nicked. Uh, Matrix come, took me on the back of the plane. I was on the back of the plane with all civilians. Yeah. And I'm kicking the guy in front of me, some Asian guy. I'm like, lad, take a picture of me and tag me and put it on Insta. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he was shocked. The police were like, that, don't you dare. He was like, sorry, bro. Can't. <laughs> 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 What's happening, people? Hello, common scum. Yes. Do you like watching our content on YouTube for free? Well, don't. <laughs> Scruffy cunts. <laughs> Let me tell you why, because we are over on Patreon. That is patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. Do you think it's called Patreon because they patronise people? Because that's the way you sound. <laughs> Back to the common scum. <laughs> if you're wondering what's on the Patreon... Tell us, Dan. Shit loads. Wow. Shit there's, loads. There's early access to all of the public episodes like this one, so any episode that gets released on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> if, you're, if you're thinking... <laughs> We're keeping and that And your ass falls out when you, just, you can't wait till Thursday because it's too far away. You know what I mean? If you're thinking, oh, the new episode of the What's Happening podcast isn't out till Thursday, what day is it? It's only Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> you get early access to all of the public episodes, so you get it two days earlier. Ooh. Not only that... What else did you get? Patreon exclusive episodes, which is episodes of the podcast that are only released on Patreon. And that is a lot more personalised to the viewer. We take in fan, fan submissions, like stories, questions. We read them out live on the podcast. And there is going to be monthly specials. We're not skint anymore, so we can actually afford to do it. We've just recorded some fucking brilliant ones. There's loads more to come. If you're not on the Patreon, you're missing out. Get on get it. Get over there. And if you're not already on the Patreon... Thank you. We love you. Yeah. You've already fed our egos, and now you're partially feeding my kids. So my kids love you. Do you right. want daddy's kids to die? No. Well, there's four of them, so I don't mind losing a couple. So. <laughs> <laughs> Patreon.com forward slash what's happening pod. See us over there. Four pounds a month. Bye. Hello. Welcome back. Episode 61 of the What's Happening Podcast. Hope you've ordered a great week. If you haven't. No, my problem. Not as new It's not my... It's not my business, lad, really. Are you looking very tan today, by the way? What have you been doing? Um, not no, is that, are, are you looking tanned or yellow? Or? Well, I, I, yeah. Man said yellow. You know, <laughs> yeah, yellow's not a tan. I get tan. told every week I look like I've got jones. Yeah. Yeah. You look, look like you're living in kidneys on the ass or what? I'm not even arsed, lad. Have you got in the studio, Dan? Got Shem in the studio this week. How are you doing, lad? What's happening, yeah? Good. Podcast. Thanks for coming down, lad. Much appreciated. For anyone, for anyone who doesn't know who you are, Wow, Tell yeah. us a bit about yourself. Yeah. Describe yourself in three words. <laughs> Shemrock can't be one of them. <laughs> <laughs> I can't describe myself. In Big three massive words. dick. No, so nah, you, money, you, yeah. you're an MMA fighter, aren't you? Yeah, I'm an MMA fighter, scouser. That, that's it. Yeah. Well, that's there's two out of the three words. We'll take that. We'll take that. Two we'll out of three ain't bad, lad. We'll take two. So, basically, all we're gonna do. Not informal at all. We're gonna get to know you for like a little fifteen, twenty, and then we'll just chat you for a bit. We'll yeah. ease into it. So. You're an MMA fighter. Yeah. It's quite an interesting job. It's an interesting way to choose to live your life. What made you get into that? And how old were you when you got into it? Um, it's a bit of a fucking long story. Um, I definitely you never... Leave it then, right? <laughs> 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 Fucking like it, lad. <laughs> nah, go ahead. So, what made I you want to get into it? I definitely never had no aspiration of ever being an MMA fighter. No. I think I kind of found it by accident. But at the same time, I don't believe in accidents. I believe like everything. Yeah, yeah, it's faith, no such, it? nah, yeah, no, not there's no a, such thing as faith. So, Wait, is that? Sorry, yeah, that is the thing, isn't it? So, no. if you don't believe in that, you don't believe in faith, do you? No, no, I think. Yeah, you wouldn't believe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Fuck, oh, man, he's back there. <laughs> 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 Who's you saying that? Sorry, like, yeah, yeah, sorry, like, on, sorry. Go on, go on. Ignore him and his yeah, microphone yeah, head yeah. over there. I was on a DMT one then. Can't be. After. <laughs> um, I, I found martial arts later. I found martial arts when I was 20, 21, 22. Okay. Um, I first found martial arts when I was on the run. I was on the run for 10 years. Um, yeah. Straight I've, into it. Straight I love it. <laughs> straight <laughs> into it. I told you it was a long story. <laughs> Fucking ripping the plaster off, lad. What were you for? Come on. So, I went on the run when I was 19. Mm -hmm. to, I, ran, I went to Asia. 
Um, Some fucking run that lad. Some Mo Farron over here, lad. Yeah. Like, <laughs> did you have your fitbit on though? Because that doesn't count. <laughs> I cut the story short. Nah, go nah, on. nah, 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 I was um, in Thailand, Malaysia mostly. Mm -hmm. I, I don't know all of Southeast Asia, but um, obviously I was on a, a, um, a holiday visa. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, uh, every 90 days I've got to fly out and then I fly back in and they give me another 90 days. Have you got to oh, fly back to the UK then. or just fly anywhere? It's a, fly it's a little anywhere. island, yeah. isn't it? Just outside of Thailand, is it or something? I'm sure someone told me it's like a little island you've got to go to to renew the... Or have I just been lied no, to? No, yeah, you've just you been, been lied to. Oh, where did you fly to? <laughs> you just smoked too much weed. <laughs> <laughs> that is probably the case, though. <laughs> where did you have to fly to then? Where did you go? So this is what I used to do. I, I, at first, I went to um, Bangkok. I spent yeah. a few nights in Bangkok. And then from there, I went to a little island called Koh Samui. Mm -hmm. My older brother, he works in Malaysia. So obviously I knew I was on the run. I didn't yeah. want to go straight to him yeah. and yeah. then bring all yeah, the he's, he's a normal way. working man yeah. and that, you know yeah. what I mean? So And that'll probably be the first place some people would look, connections, family. Exactly. You know I mean? yeah, yeah. So I went to Thailand first and then after like a little year, I realised like these cunts aren't coming for me. Yeah. So <laughs> then I went to Malaysia. Um, while I was you were waiting for you like that look at that <laughs> <laughs> while I was in Malaysia so ev every 90 days I'd go and see a new country yeah. I'd go and fly to Vietnam or Singapore yeah. and then I'd spend 2-3 days there come back to Malaysia and I'd get another 90 days and then I could stay for 90 days then I'm mad that I didn't know you could even do that to be yeah. fair to yeah. that. Uh, after a while it's expensive that though lad uh, you, lad you know what Asia, not that bad. Asia's that cheap yeah. lad even for flights and that, that we're getting bumped yeah. over here, boys. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> the cost of living yeah, crisis yeah. is real. <laughs> let me tell you. So, um, I, for one of my visa runs, I went to Singapore, and I'm walking down the street, and I just seen this big fucking massive glass window, and I've looked in the window, and there's all these fellas in like jujitsu geese, mm -hmm. and they're all rolling doing jujitsu. It must have been like an open mat, so they're all just sparring. There was about thirty people on the mat, all just going at it. And um, I just stood there and watched that, and I must have stood there for about 45 minutes just no. watching, you know, when you just lose track of time. Yeah, yeah, lad, yeah. You know, yeah. Was, yeah, and I, I didn't know nothing about Jiu Jitsu, I just knew black belt meant good, yeah, white belt meant shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So I was watching the black belts, I'd just tap everyone, I'm thinking, wow, this is sick. I've always been a fucking big fan of the UFC, yeah, all yeah. of that. I'm one of them when the fights go to the ground, that's more. What I like to see. So then it gets interesting then. Yeah, it, like everyone else more like a standard off. I want to yeah. see knockouts. I'm the opposite. I want to yeah, see submissions I like a submission. and that. Yeah. Yeah. It's all the technical side yeah. of it. Yeah. Anyone can get caught with a dig mid. Anyone like, can don't just swing a mid. Yeah. 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 It's like a game of chess, isn't it? Yeah. I've gone back to Malaysia. Um, must have stuck with me. It's been in my head somewhere. Yeah. Six months later, whatever. I'm walking down the street. And I've just seen this sign, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So I just thought, you know what? I'm going to go in and yeah. try it. yeah, yeah. I've gone in, I've tried it, and in my mind, I'm young, I'm fucking... I'm f f young, yeah. sexy, one of them, yeah, and all of me again. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just going like to go in there and steamroll everyone, he knows I'm sexy. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a switch over there. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm thinking, I've had a few fights and that, I'm yeah. fucking from the streets, I go in there, I just smash everyone's head. <laughs> it's not how it goes, is it? It's never how no. it goes. <laughs> Birds were choking me. <laughs> <laughs> Little small Asian men, 50 kilo, were choking yeah. me. There was a young 14-year-old there. He was armbarring me. <laughs> Look, I just got, I just got schooled. Well, well, less than I was saying gym, this man. to him earlier. If I would have went in that room and done well, I reckon I would have left him when fucking load of shit. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I, mean? I needed that. I needed the humbling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Went home, fucking sitting in the end of my bed, fucking just bollock home naked after getting my shower. Like, what? <laughs> I've been done there. I'm not even asked anyway. <laughs> yeah, one of them ones. You're not asked, but you really are. Yeah. <laughs> from, from that day, I just showed up every single day, three times a day. And just was working my ass off. Yeah, I need to learn what this jujitsu is. I never had no aspiration of doing MMA. I was just doing jujitsu. Just fascinated oh. by the jujitsu. Yeah. Side of it. yeah. Anything else like in your sort of past where you had the same approach and same mentality where you were like, I need to fucking master this. Where like it just took over. Do you know what I mean? We said jujitsu, you were there three days a week, uh, three times a day saying, I need to master this. Did you anything? And your life I'd that you never you had the same approach? Never applied myself in school. No. Never really. Yeah, <laughs> stop going to school when I was like 12, 13, yeah. weren't really for me. Yeah. Um, I was always really good at sports, yeah. but because I was good at sports, I never had to try as hard as yeah. everyone else. I could so just have a granted a little yeah. bit. Yeah, and I think this was the first thing where 
I had to apply myself because it's not just athletic ability. Yeah. It's Mental. knowledge retention. Yeah. It's, it's, it's everything. Yeah. Um, I'd say this is the first time in my life that I really did like truly apply myself okay. to to something seven days a week. Yeah. I'd go home, I'd get jujitsu matches up. I'd message me professor who should I watch. I'd study. I'd watch breakdowns. I'd I'd have mats at home and I'd drill at home. Yeah, I'd yeah. have a little dummy. I'd do solo drills. Yeah. Like, I've never done a piece of homework in my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah, I, I, twisting dummies up in the garage. <laughs> I can't say that I've applied myself to anything. Fucking in sex dolls, he's lying. <laughs> Two bears, one stone. <laughs> I'd choke it and then nail it. <laughs> At the same time. Yeah. So then what happened What happened then, though, lad? So it was it was the jujitsu, and then was you just thinking, like, oh, I'll just stay doing this jujitsu, or was it like, oh, do you know what? I'll, I'll move on to my next thing, because obviously the MMA is all of it combined. But, it's a fucking one, innit? Wow, you were fucking. On the run, did you did that just take your mind off it? Getting and diving into jujitsu, did you forget that you were fucking on the run? Like when I went on the run, I didn't think I was gonna last two weeks. Yeah. So when I'm a year in, I'm thinking that I'm on a bonus. Yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. Up. When they get me, they get me. Yeah. I was just one of them. I was like, they've got to spend more resources. I, I'd never like the police, so fuck them. Yeah. 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 I just one of them, <laughs> yeah. I yeah when I get nicked, I'm gonna run trial regardless. And if they slam me, they slam me. If yeah. I get a not guilty, yeah. happy days. All the time, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm at this point now. I'm training every day. Two months into the training, my coach is like, you're competing next weekend. Oh, yeah. And I'm like, nah, I'm not. And I don't think I am. He's not the type of guy that you're arguing with. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm like, okay, coach, I am. <laughs> yeah. Like chicken. And I remember for the whole preparation up to the comp, two weeks or something, let's say, he's just had me drilling this one arm bar. The same armbar, and then when someone defends it, I'll to counter it and still finish the armbar. Yeah. And then remember, I went to the competition and I submitted everyone with the same armbar. I think I had like 14 <laughs> fights and I submitted everyone with the yeah, same armbar. Like, I, I've got some of the videos on my YouTube when I was a, a fucking, fucking white belt. Shembar over here. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I submitted someone in like six seconds or something. Oh, in wow. the, yeah. Nice so I, I, I think he then, went home and cried, didn't he? <laughs> yeah. And that was just after two months, was it? Yeah, that oh was two months. That's a fucking hell. That's a lot, I, I think long. that's when I got the bug then to compete. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then straight after that, I'm going to my professor. When's the next tournament? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Hungry. And slowly but surely, I, I won everything in Malaysia. I beat all the best guys in Malaysia. Then I started going outside competing. I ended up going to the World Championships representing Great Britain, yeah. even though I was on the run. <laughs> is, that, is that the IBJJ tournaments? Is it? So there's two. You've got IBJJF <laughs> yeah. in America, yeah, yeah, yeah. and you've got UAE JJF in Abu Dhabi. Obviously, I couldn't go to America, <laughs> so I went to Abu yeah. Dhabi. Before you go to the tournaments, you're only allowed two people from each country. So at the start, if there's six English guys, you've all got to fight each other till there's two left. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So I... I ended up going to the World Championships as a blue belt. Um, obviously, I didn't win, or I'd be saying I'm a world champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't be sassy if you won. I got, put to, I got put to sleep by some um, South African guy, I think he was. He was fucking massive. <laughs> 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 um, but then, after that, I've come back. Um, I've ended up having, like, super fights against black belts. I competed on ADCC. Like, I've done all these good things in jiu-jitsu, but I weren't making no money. Yeah. yeah. And I was a bit naive to that. I was like, no, I've got sponsors now. Yeah, I'm, I'm sound, yeah. I can get by. <clears throat> and my professor's like, lad, what are you going to do when you've got a family, lad? Don't you want to have kids? Mm, mm. Or what, you're going you to buy a house off sponsors, lad? What? And they kind of put it in my head a little bit. Yeah. And then um, leading up to another comp coming up, he was like, look, lad, I think you should do this thing. There's a TV show coming up, Malaysian Invasion. If you What win, a name. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's silly. <laughs> lad, look. The the castle, the castle, I <laughs> Look, it was the craziest, craziest concept ever. It would not work in Liverpool. Someone would get shot dead. They'd get a, sh they'd get a, a full-size cage. Yeah. They'd plot it up in the middle of the shopping centre. And anyone who wants to come and try out, get in the cage and fight someone. Oh imagine God, imagine God, that in St. John's. Like. No, someone would get their head smashed in. You'd be coming back with 20 lads going, nah, <laughs> it's not over. It's not over. Pull on the blade out mid-fight, lad. <laughs> and the interview, yeah, you do a grappling match with someone... Um, you, you hit pads with your coach, and then you go in the cage, and you have a you have a spot like, like, you, you, like full MMA, full MMA, thing. yeah. And people were getting knocked out in that. <laughs> so, just in the middle look, of the shop. Imagine doing your shop and then getting bingo. No, <laughs> no way, no way of a lie. I'm warming up. Some old fellas walk past and said, "Yeah, I'll have a go." He's gone in there. He was an English fella. I won't forget him. Baldy guy. He was about forty-five. He's like, "Yeah, yeah, I'll have a go." Lad, he just got chinned. Got knocked out cold. <laughs> Straight away. Straight away, like Aww. quick. The guy who we fought trains. He don't train, he's just 
walking through the shopping centre. You just couldn't be asked. You have to see the cage. The liability behind that was you having to sign all your paperwork. No, yeah, you have to sign all my shit and that. So out of everyone who tries out, hundreds of people. You yeah. pick like 12 people for each weight class. Yeah. The weight class I was in was called Foreign Pride. It was only foreigners. So, <laughs> so it wasn't even a weight class. It was <laughs> <laughs> no, it was just all the foreigners. It was, it was madness. It you sounds got like, like gay foreigners, that you know. <laughs> Those dogs, don't it? In the cage, just sucking I'm like that lad, I'm not fighting in that weight class, you know? <laughs> like, throw me in with the featherweight class. Like, you aren't allowed to wear any shorts, you know? Yeah. Just follow yeah. home, yeah. <laughs> so, Farm you fight pie. You fight every, like, every month or every other month. Yeah. Until there's, obviously, two years left. And then you compete in the final. And this is um, all just in St. John's. <laughs> no, not St. John's, but you know what I mean? Like Bro, the Malaysian St. John's. Do you know John's? what's mad? St. Miyagi's. Do you, know, <laughs> do you know what's mad though? Um, imagine St. John's, that full like you can't move. That's what the shopping centre was like. You'd look up that. and you'd just see thousands of people just standing just people watching. Watch. But you know why you're doing that though? Is there still people shopping in there? Yeah. Every shop's <laughs> open. Well, I would, I would you could thought. bounce into JD, buy a pair of trainings and then go and watch the fight. Go and buy your shorts for your fight and then get <laughs> <laughs> I'm fighting on clouds. Like, like, <laughs> look, it was the maddest concept that I've, I've ever been involved that's in. Not, yeah, but it was weird sick. though. It was like, it was a good opportunity because that was my first exposure of MMA. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the craziest thing, because it was on TV, we were getting paid. Yeah. So yeah. I made more as an amateur than I did for my first five professional fights. I was Fuck getting off. lad, I was getting paid good money at the end of it. So I, I was made up, lad. And um, I got all the way to the final. Now I'm in the final. Fucking the guy who owns the show, Malaysian Invasion. He was partnered up with one championship. It was like this was like their Massive little brother there, promotion. It, yeah. yeah. They're the biggest promotion in so Asia. So is, is that what like the way Cage Warriors is for the UFC? Is that the yeah, equivalent that's, with that? Yeah, and what, yeah. Like, the way they, they feel. What's yeah. it called? Yeah. One isn't that? Who, who's, who's, who's that Sage Northcutt? Yeah, yeah. Is he with them now? That's yeah. Asia's equivalent to the UFC. You've got Haggerty. Yeah. You've got Liam Rod Harrison. Tang well, Rod Tang. In the, in the Muay Thai. Is that is that big? Uh, like just as big? Uh, I'd say it's, it's, I'd it's bigger say, in Asia than the UFC is in America. I'd say if you'd ask me, I'd say they're the second biggest MMA promotion in the world. Oh really? And I think. That Muay Thai took them to that level. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You've got God, Tang's yeah. been a big star for them, especially yeah. the last couple of years. Like, he's, 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 he's insane, him, by the way. No, he and is. He's, he's a weird fella, him. Like, I know anyone who like fights for a living's got to, got to have like, a different frame of mind, but he fully drops his hands. And don't they do the Muay Thai in the four-ounce gloves as well? Yeah. He drops his hands and just lets people smack him and then walks at them. <laughs> Scott, he's like, yeah. dog. I like he's him. good. Yeah, he's good. I want to see him and Haggerty again. I think Haggerty's yeah, yeah, yeah. gone to a next level. I, yeah. Physically, even looking at him, he, he, he looks, looks a different as beast. Well. Yeah. So yeah. Wait, when you got to the final, then how did that oh, yeah, so happen there? I've got to the final now, and the owner of the show has contacted us like, mate, we found out you're on the run. We've Googled your name, all, st- all this mad shit's come up. He's like, we're kicking you out the final. Fuck off. So I'm thinking, ah, oh, here we go. I'm going to fucking have you, you little dickhead. It, it was a up, secret though. in my gym. No one really knew yeah, about yeah, it. Yeah. Now it's starting to come out. People are looking at me different. Now I'm that fucking scumbag who's yeah, wanted for the yeah. aggravated burglary. Yeah. And I'm just thinking, ah, oh, this is moody, this. Don't know how. My gym owner at the time, he's gone to the British consulate on my behalf. And he's got a letter from the British consulate to say, I'm not wanted and I can fight in the final. Don't, I don't know how he got it, but he did. <laughs> he's chewed some dicks off him, lad. He, he's not even my coach, he just owns the gym. What? Uh, eight, lad, he's just a different place. He, knew, he was like, listen, this kid's going to bring me some coin here, lad. He's a <laughs> fighter. I'll take one of the half from the British consulate, lad. <laughs> so we've had this letter. That's sick, though, now. We've emailed the fucking owner, put a bit of pressure on him, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and he's like, all right, you can fight. So we ended up fighting in the final. Got webbed everywhere. <laughs> lad. <laughs> I remember getting to the weigh-in. Because I'm I'm actively competing that much, mm, yeah. my weight just kept coming down and coming yeah, down and coming fuck. down. Yeah. Lad, I've ended up getting to the final. The final was at 70 key. And I've ended up stepping on the scale with my power bank, my phone, my tracky. <laughs> and I'm at 69 key thinking, fuck, I'm light here. <laughs> but then I remember we've come to do the face-off and that and I've seen my opponent and he just looked like a little sucked yeah, out. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, he was short in height and he just looked rough where he's killed himself to make the weight, but he looked rough. And I thought, oh my God, I'm going to fucking annihilate him. You know, the next day when we've got in the cage. Oh, go ahead. Bam. Yeah, you <laughs> dehydrated. Yeah. Big, oh, oh, lad. I remember just getting in there and thinking, fuck. Here's my power bank now, lad. <laughs> <laughs> I remember, like, I've, I've changed level and shot a takedown on him. And he just went, 
<laughs> I remember it in his hips and just going like, what? <laughs> he swatted me round the ring for about two rounds. And then I've gone back to my corner. And um, I've got my MMA coach and my jiu-jitsu coach. My MMA coach is like, change level, set your takedowns up, keep your hands up. I've looked at my jiu-jitsu coach and my jiu-jitsu coach is like, if everything's not going well, jump guard. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. MMA coach had... Oh lad, he'd fucking kill me for that. Yeah, yeah. But I did. I went out there, end of the round. There was like ten seconds left. I jumped guard and triangled him. Nice that. And then the timer went, and I had to open my triangle and let him out. But because I'd actually gone to the ground, I felt his jujitsu, and I knew this yeah. guy's jujitsu. Yeah. 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 So for the start of the next round, I've gone back to my corner. My MMA coach's like, "What the fuck are you doing, pulling guard, lad? You're making us look stupid. Take him down." I've looked at Bruno. And Bruno's just like. Yeah, do that again. Like. <laughs> so I've gone out there, jump guard, triangle them. Tap this time, I tapped them. So then I've, I've won the belt, f- fucking got paid, buzz and all of that. At the end of the show, every single champion got offered a contract to go to one championship. Yeah. So I'm thinking, yeah, this is me now. Yeah. I'll go to one champ. Everyone in my gym was already at one championship. Like my MMA coach, he fought Ben Askren there. Like oh, he fucking out. Yeah, yeah. Mad. Like my gym at that time was a hotbed, everyone was coming up. What gym was it? Uh, I don't even want to give them no plugs. Fuck them. Oh, oh really? yeah, bad, bad blood yeah. now, is it? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get to that in a minute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go on, Sam. Love all the coaches, <laughs> Professor Bruno, Comrado, Medi, Aguilan, love all of the coaches, like the me family. Yeah. I never lose love for them. Even even if they did me wrong, I'd never lose love yeah, for them yeah, after yeah, everything yeah. they've done yeah, for yeah. me. But is it just the politics? Or the gym owner, he done me dirty. Oh, okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Sent me passport to the police and everything. Did he? Oh, we'll get this into that. This is the same fellow who yeah, got yeah. you the fucking letter from the well, yeah, yeah, we'll get into that in a minute. Don't forget yeah. that. That's <laughs> a that whole other thing you told me. This is the car before it was sick. But <laughs> yeah, go on, yeah, nah, nah, it's all good, it's all good. Go on, so, so what, what? Yeah. I've, I've come to the end of the show, I've won, won the show, whatever. Every single fighter got offered a, a contract for one championship by me. So in my mind, I'm thinking, ah, oh, why the fuck don't they want me? Yeah, Everyone yeah, else in my yeah. gym's there. I'm on all the promo videos. When one comes to film all the videos, I'm, I'm training yeah, with all yeah, the, yeah, the lads yeah. in the mm. gym. They know who I am. But I'm like, ah, it must be because they're all Asian and I'm not Asian. Yeah. You don't want no fucking English guy, whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'll keep it moving. So at that point, I've just decided to turn pro because I couldn't find any fights. I've yeah. only had four or five amateur fights. Yeah. It's I'm still green in my career. Mm. I, shouldn't have, I shouldn't have been fighting pro. Yeah. But I just couldn't get any fights. Yeah. yeah. I, I had about 10 pullouts in a year. I'm sitting on the sidelines for the year doing camp to camp to camp, but not the no fighting. end result. No end, no, yeah, no so end I just thought, fuck it, I'll just go pro. So I ended up going pro. Won my first two fights, first round submission. Um, and then after that, got offered another opportunity to be on another TV show. This TV show was for one championship. So what it was, was it was in Thailand. You go down there and you try out. <clears throat> you got this, uh, you coach a whole pads for you. Mm-hmm. Then there'll be another guy hitting pads at the same time. There's two years on the mat. Mm. After you've done hitting pads, you've got to wrestle with each other and grapple with each other. Okay. And then after that, um, you no, know, you gotta hit pads with your coach, grapple with your coach, then grapple with each with y- y- yeah, the other yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. So the show was run by Rich Franklin. It was called Rich Franklin One yeah. Warrior Series. He was UFC champion. He he, he fought Anderson Silva. Okay. Um, <clears throat> I went on the show. There was hundreds of people trying out, lad. I'm still quite green. Yeah. But I'm just fucking. Just one, there. I'm one of the lads. I'm super confident. Yeah. yeah. Like, when I look back and watch myself, then I think I was shit. Yeah. But if you ask me then, I thought I was the shit. Yeah, 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 I used yeah, to look yeah. at everyone else and go, him, he's shit. Yeah. I'll, sm- I'll smash his head then. Yeah. Meanwhile, he's got 20 pro fights and I'm one and all. That's what I'm like. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I've gone on the show. I'll never forget it, lad. Fucking hitting pads with me coach, grappling with me coach, and afterwards they put me with this other guy. He was a Brazilian guy. <clears throat> At first, Rich Franklin's like, Shem, I want you on the bottom, I want him on top. Cool. Half guard. And I've said, do you want him with an underhook or no underhook? And he went, yeah, give him an underhook. So I'm going to the guy, he wants you to take an underhook, which is one arm under your yeah, armpit. Yeah, yeah. And the guy don't speak English too well, he's just looking at me like... So I know how to say underhook in Portuguese, yeah. so I've said as Grima and told him. So he's gone, lad, when he's underhooked me, he's done it smooth. Yeah. So I thought, nah, this guy's a grappler. <laughs> yeah. I could just tell the way he, he pummeled for the under. Oh. Yeah. So, Rich has gone, go, to say go. As he's gone to say go, I just went, exploded, threw him off me, stood up. 
And you could see he was like, wow, you cheap bastard. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had to submit him or stand up and disengage. Oh, and he had to submit okay. me yeah, 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 or yeah. hold me down. That was the drill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you just switch, switch yeah, switching Yeah, they just said, go on one more time. Go, boom. I've sploded up, got him off me, done it again. He said, swap. Now I'm on top. Yeah. I knew in my head, because I've just done that, he's going to try and do the same yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. So I'm like, as he's going to explode up, I'm going to try and get to the front headlock and guillotine yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. He's jumped, exploded, exactly what I thought he would. I've guillotined him and I've tapped him out. Nice. <laughs> Again, <laughs> took us back, choked him out. Thought sick. Richard's come over like, yeah, yeah, I like you, lad. You remind me of me mate. He said, who was his mate? He said, Tarzan. He, he fights him one as well. He was like, you just got a similar style. Lad, I don't know why, but he just liked me. I could yeah, feel yeah, it, yeah, you know what I mean? Boom, we've gone backstage. The Brazilian guy was fuming. He was fucking pacing up and down. And that's so all gone over to him. Like, it's all right, lad. Yeah, and yeah. It's all right, you little shit bag. I've just asked him because I could just feel it. I've said, you a black belt? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I'm a third degree black belt. Whoa. <laughs> and I'm You've just like, been third degree burned on your head, you little <laughs> He goes to me, you black belt? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm a blue belt, me, bro. <laughs> and his face just fucking... Dr- uh, I'd only been doing jiu-jitsu for a year and a half, uh, two that years. Mad, that analogy we've just been speaking about in the car Not is just man. that story. Like, we, we, we were talking about other things in life and uh, he, he put it into jiu-jitsu terms about like a fucking blue belt who's coming up to fucking dethrone a black belt and you've just literally done it. You're hungry. Yeah. Mad, lad. Yeah. Mad, mad. But, um, so, so, like... So I, I, was, I was wondering before as well, so do you know the way you said, like, while you were on the run in Asia, you were actively competing in that? And, like, I know, obviously, you, like... Get into it. What happened with the owner of the gym in a minute? But did you ever worry about like while while you were competing? Say you started to build a bit of a profile and a bit of a name for yourself out there. That like that was an easy way for the police over here to 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 figure so, yeah, out, to where figure you out were where and what you were doing. You knew where I was because me me gym yeah, me, me gym owner also told me as well. He was like, if you make an Instagram and promote yourself, like I never had no social media. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was one of them BBM yeah, free phones, yeah. one on a line. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was one of them cunts. <laughs> but he told me if you make a profile on every social media platform and promote the gym and promote yourself, you can train for free. Cool. So I started doing social media and I knew they were watching my shit, but I just yeah, thought, yeah, yeah. catch me if you can, football, yeah, yeah, whatever. Like I, I went running. I was yeah. on the run, but I weren't running. Yeah, they knew where you yeah, were. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. in the gym every day. I'm posting selfies. I'm posting videos. I was just not letting anyone else know that I was on the run. Probably because as well, because it was just an aggravator burglary anyway. It's too much of a ball like for them to try and get them international fucking warrants and all that to try yeah. and come over to it. It's just too much of a piss take anyway. Yeah. But speaking of the, the the that rich fucking Franklin thing, what happened there? Like, did you did you did it progress or anything or like what happened? Lad, it was mad. So after the show, now out of everyone. You're talking like a good few hundred people to pick from. Yeah, yeah. He's picked three of us. Yeah. Me, Stamp Fairtex. She's still in one now. She 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 went on to be Muay Thai world champ, kickboxing yeah. world champ, and MMA world champ. Solid uh, he picked A, me, and he picked some Filipino guy. He's fell beside the wayside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Him. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he's seen something in him, but yeah. I guess he didn't have the fighting skills, whatever. No offence, lad. <laughs> um, I don't, don't think he's watching, you know. No, he's <laughs> you probably he follows you. <laughs> <laughs> Time for another wave from one of the sponsors. Bobby, what sponsor? Well, you'd be very surprised to hear that it's actually technicals. Technicals? That's it, that's it, technicals. Uh, it's my dad on the telly, <laughs> flying. <laughs> yeah. What do technicals do, lad? What do they provide us Well, te- technicals is a, a, an active an active uh, gym and sports way. So, you know, whether you're into your walk in your mountains, you know, sitting in your Mars, walking around town buying clothes, you know. Like me, that, walk on the chippy. Y- there you go. And Gary's got technicals on, which he wears to go to chippy in all the time. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> Twice a day sometimes. <laughs> But yeah, <laughs> you know, the thing is with it, all right. The thing is with it. One thing I hate. Do you know when you go on camping, or yeah. you know you're gonna be like, say you go on like on like a little hike or yeah. something, yeah. and you fucking hell, uh, and 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 you go out and you you sign up by clothes that are like, uh, you know, according to what you're doing. Yeah, like, yeah, contemporary. And though. you know, yeah, yeah very yeah, contemporary. Yeah. And 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 you can't because you go into you go into fucking decathlon or go outdoors and yeah. you come out dressing like you're on a fucking. It's geography school <laughs> technicals yeah. managed to keep it looking stylish but it's still practical as well yeah, aesthetically, aesthetically it's, it's, pleasing it is aesthetically, uh, aesthetically pleasing the contemporary the some of them are red <laughs> <laughs> the great <laughs> possibilities are endless <laughs> you want a blue top they've got them as well <laughs> www.technicalsbrand.com what's the code Ga- uh, Danny Who? it's happening 20 <laughs> it's happening 20 what was you got to say <laughs> yeah. get your 20% off technicalsbrand.com 
get on him. <laughs> but then what happened from that though? Like, so was that like you were to do that to get like some sort of contract with one? Is that what that was for? So this is what I'm about to say now. So they've, they've took us three out for the dinner and then this is where they're going to explain what's going on and okay, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there's all these fucking one championship guys. I don't really know any of them because mm. I'm fucking, I, I'm watching the UFC and yeah, I'm yeah, still yeah, a bit green. Yeah. I don't I don't even know these cunts are. Yeah, like yeah, this, yeah. This Stan Fairtex big in Muay Thai, I just thought she was just some random bird. I didn't even have a clue. You're trying yeah. to bend on it, what's yeah. happening? <laughs> but, I, <laughs> but I knew Rich Franklin. What is open mat there? <laughs> <laughs> I knew Rich Franklin, so I'm just on Rich. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah, like, yeah. look, I, I'm one of them, lad. I'm just like, yeah, give two of them, two of these, put it on his bill. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's got me, he's got me. <laughs> lad, and he's just looking at me like, what? Who's this mad scouser? <laughs> well, lad, I don't know why. We just clicked. He just liked yeah, me. He yeah, just yeah. thought I was a mad cat. He's been in contact with him now, too. Nah, nah, fuck nah. Him, man. <laughs> <laughs> nah. So I'm at dinner, and me and him just start going back and forth. Like I'm even busting jokes to him. I'm like, "What happened to your nose and that lad? You had plastic <laughs> surgery." Yeah. Like, we're just busting yeah, jokes, yeah. and then they've stopped the interview at some point. Like, because there's all cameras there, and they're like, "Rich, will you speak to some of the others for a bit, lad? We need some content." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so like, ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he's asked me, just sat there like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's asked me my life story so I've told him like where yeah. I'm from council estates what I used to do but then I found martial arts obviously yeah. never said I was on the run yeah. Yeah. but I've told him the ins and outs yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, lad afterwards he's just been like lad come to me hotel room boom 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 we need to get this on film so I'm like alright cool then they've invited me to this like mad little hotel room to all there ring lights fucking all of that cameras so I've just sat in front of the camera and he's just said, whatever you said to me at the, at the scran, say it now. So I've just told me story, lad. Said everything, went in depth and that. They've switched all the lights off. So now when they switch the lights off, you can see everyone behind yeah, the camera. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lad, I've looked around the room and everyone's just crying and that. And I'm just like, wow, what, oh. why are you crying? They're like, wow, this is so inspirational. <laughs> I'm thinking, wow, it's like X Factor. Yeah. <laughs> like, like X Factor when you this come on and they've got a sob story. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so they've offered me the contract there and then good money um, he's been whispering all sweet nothings in me yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. going to build you you're going to be champion in this organisation boom 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 lad I'm leaving there thinking yeah I'm the boy yeah, I've signed yeah. the contract I didn't even fucking read it lad I'm just <laughs> <laughs> I'm there I've signed the contract I flew back to Malaysia got a phone call We've seen that you wanted me. To oh, oh, it straight no away, way, lad. Lad. it straight away Have you never talked ta- because ta- I know that you were you saying in the car before obviously you got the, the, the not guilty and that have you never not thought of fucking reaching back out but it just burnt I just feel like the way everything's just moving at the minute yeah the way everything's just gone lad yeah, yeah, just yeah. you're in your lane now yeah. just staying yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm happy I'm with Octagon now I'm like like you said I'm before though lad things and th- like there's no such thing as fate lad everything happens for a fucking reason at the end of the day innit yeah. know what I mean yeah definitely so can we get into what happened with the fucking yeah, with I'm the bad blood the and that yeah, we're into, that. yeah I've, got, I've gone back to my gym is this after all this by the way is yeah. this after all like all that stuff yeah yeah I've gone back to my gym I've ended up having another fight or two mm. but something was already up I can feel it like yeah. I can't ever go to one championship mm. in his mind that means I can't ever go to the UFC I can't ever go to Bellator so no point in you being in the so he's starting to look at yeah. me different now yeah. like yeah. I was the golden child before now yeah. he's half like fuck yeah. this guy yeah. Yeah. he just come to me one day and he just said look mate you can't train here no more um, you can't ever go to one championship so we don't want you That's and he just that. kicked me out lad and I had nowhere to go that's naughty that Mad instant that. in the middle of Malaysia I had, no, we had. No, we had. Oh, I was going to say, fuck it. You didn't kick me out. You didn't show them me out. I had your back. There's no way, like, they, like, so, like, like, some of them live insane in the gym. I didn't no, know I had my own gaff. Oh, yeah. that's not yeah. too bad. Then. And what did he do? Did he give you passport in and that, did he? He had a copy of my passport and he sent it to me as he saw a police lad. Did he, yeah? I had to get a new passport, lad. He's was, a snake. That went easy. Gumbag. That went easy, lad, let me tell you. Gumbag bastard, that's horrible. I had over there. Why is he doing shit like that? And I bet you had so much respect for him as well. Lad, you know what? Oh, I, I feel like I've done a lot for that gym. Lad. Yeah. Like, I, I feel like... Fucking petty bombing. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously, you must, you must have had much respect for him. I'm fucking aggravated to be in your main, fucking gym, you know, mm-hmm. the, main thing, your <laughs> the main thing I was asked about is that, like, 
I felt like me and Bruno, we formed like a proper fucking bond. Yeah. He was yeah. like a team. He, like, he was like my dad, lad. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the thing is with MMA, like any martial arts, and then he's like fucking fighting. It's all about respect. It's like a family, and then you feel like you've just been absolutely shit like on there. Lattered, yeah, 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 yeah. No I can't go to the gym no more. Bruno, he works for the gym. He, they've they pay, they sought his visa to stay in the country, Sweet. so if he, he go, can't even come out yeah. and train with me. Because then if he gets caught, it'll be yeah. And I didn't even want to put that pressure on him. No, anyway, no, no, no. Yeah, yeah understandable. Well, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That is fair enough. So like, so as you say now, like after all that, you've ended up, you've landed quite well. You with Octagon now, I just smashing it. Like what, like. What? Because you, you've not long had a fight just gone. What? What? What's next? Like, have you got like a roadmap? Have you got a plan, or are you just happy to just crack on and see where you end up? I feel like my ambitions are so big, lad. My dreams are so big. Like, I want. Gotta be, I, like, I want the greatest of things. Yeah. That How old are you? I'm 29 now. Yeah. 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 Prime years now, then. Yeah, this is prime time. Like, I can remember being starting and saying things that I've achieved to the people around me, and they yeah. were like. You're never gonna yeah, do that. Yeah, yeah, man. I've already done that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've and now I'm in that done, same yeah. position now that even some of my mates, when I tell them what I'm gonna do, yeah, they go fuck off, lad. Yeah, yeah. Love it, shut it, shut up, lad. I love it, lad. I just laugh. Yeah, I, I love it, lad. I, I just because I believe it too much, yeah, lad. Like, lad, you've got to though yeah, at the yeah. end of the day because like especially when you start. I mean, like I'm not like. I know, I know, I know stand up comedy and, uh, and MMA fighting's got its difference. There's only a few. Um, <laughs> Yours but, is harder. Uh, it is, lad, it is. Sort of, it, it, it takes more of a physical soul on the body. Um, um, but yeah, no, like, like it's like. I, like I, I was the same when I when I very, when I very first started. Like, I'm, I'm still, I'm still fucking c- compared to other people. Like, I'm still brand new. But like, like I, I was, like I said things to people like two years ago before I got going properly. Like, like, I, like I'm gonna do, like I'll be doing that in like in like five years. And they were like, not like, like there was people who were like, I don't know, you know. And then like two years later, it's like shit that Someone's I said was gonna happen in five years has already happened, and I'm working on the next thing. Right? So it's like yeah. you've got. I, I feel like to to. to, to to go far in anything, no matter how big or small it is to you or anyone else, like you, you, you you've got to want to be at the very, very Lad, top of it. You're the master of your own destiny, in it. Like yeah, I man. know there's a blueprint for everything. Like there's fighters who fucking follow the certain path. There's comedians who follow the certain path, and a lot of people believe that that's the only way to do it. It's not, like yeah. yeah, it's not. No, I'm with that. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. You've got to be the master of your own yeah. destiny, and you fucking you write your own story. That you is might it. as well dream big or not dream. At all. all, yeah, exactly. Realistically, yeah. and if, if, if everything's going the way you've said it's going to go and the plan that's going to go, lad, then it's going to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? I feel like there's always going to be bumps along the way, there's always going to be yeah. a little setback. So there's less, lad, though, lad. Yeah, that's, that's what I was yeah. going to say. I feel like everything that I've gone through, if I would have had it smooth, I don't think I'd be as good as I am yeah. now yeah. or where I am now. Yeah, yeah. you need to be it's faced with adversity. You, 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 you probably wouldn't have had the same great lad and the same yeah. determination to, to get after it. You know what I mean? Like, and like I was saying before in the car, lad, like. You'll, you'll, when you, when you hit that point, you'll look back and you'll have loved the journey. Yeah. Because that's, yeah. That, that's probably the best bit of it all. I you know what? The journey I'm, I'm going to touch on something that I've never ever said to anyone. And I know all fighters go through this go that on. you go through your camp and it's about what you were saying then the journey. Yeah. yeah. You go through the camp and it's the hardest part of your training. It's yeah. so fucking hard. You got to be religious, re- religious. You got to be strict as fucking yeah. Yeah, yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm super strict. Like I'll even abstain. I won't masturbate. Won't have sex. Yeah. I don't. I make sure I'm in bed at ten o'clock later. Like I'm the strictest of the strict. And just win by jizzing in your opponent's eyes. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you get through all this, and you expect this big climax at the end. Yeah. yeah and you know when you hit that end, you it's the most flat. oppressive thing. Ever, yeah. Bro. Yeah. You just feel yeah. so sad, bro. You yeah. Just, it's, you leave the cage. You there. It's hit. Yeah. And then you get back to the hotel, and it's just like, is that it? Do you know what? Right. The, I, fight, I, the I, fights where I've won and I've come home with belts, lad. I've just thrown my belt in the bin and been like, I don't even know if I, I want to do I this think anymore. That, that, that's when that's when the mentality side comes into it, though, because like like lo- lo- loads of people uh, like like they get that they get that sort of like. Like that, that, that empty. You're at the highest so, point you yeah. can ever be. So you get that empty. Only a wash drop, yeah. after it, and then I feel like people let that get to them. But I feel like that's when you've got to be like, all right, what's next? That, that that's when you've got to be able yeah. to pick yourself back up. I yeah. think because like, when you're in the hotel on your own after it, like it's a dangerous place, isn't it? After every single fight, the next day I go back to the gym and train. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No matter how hurt I am, back on the horse. No matter how injured I am. Yeah. If I have to take my time off after, yeah. But that first day, I make sure I go back to yeah, the gym. Yeah. Just to remind myself, like this yeah. is what you love, like yeah, 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 this, is why you're here. yeah like, this is what you want to do. I can relate to that. Like, obviously, it's not the same level, but me and Danny had our first like independent show a few weeks back on that water, yeah. um, and we had two sold out shows. And I closed the early show, and then I was opening the late show, 
And like, it was the first time I'd done half an hour on stage and I come off stage and fucking the adrenaline was up there. I was made up on mm-hmm. cloud nine. People were asking us for selfies outside. Everyone was like, this is fucking sick. And we had 45 minutes of the next show. So we went down to American Pizza Slice to get a little scrand and all that. And I was just sitting there and I just started fucking flying down the slope massively. <laughs> yeah. And then I got walked back to the late show and I was like... How am I going to open this next show? Like, I just didn't know what to do. I felt so flat. And the first, like, five, ten minutes of me set, I was just fighting with myself to try and get back up to a level. And I was, like, putting it on. And I was like, ah. And then I finished. I had the interval and Danny come on. And I just sat in the corner of the room watching Danny just thinking, fuck's this life about, lad? I just felt so flat. I've never felt that before in my life. And I was like, that is mad. It's meant to be. What picked you back up then? I think afterwards we went for a little bevy, didn't we, yeah. to celebrate, like, just to say, like, and we fucking... Because we we've only been in comedy for, like, two years, and it's quite hard, and it's quite political comedy, and... and this year. We've sta- yeah, we've yeah. started to sort of forge our own path. We've got a following from this, and we've said, like, well, you can put bums on seats in venues, let's let's rent the room, and let's fucking sell our own tickets, and let's just prove a point kind That's of thing. That's what it's about, lad. Yeah, exactly, yeah. So, we went out for a little bevy, and... We went into this this bar. It was a fucking bar, Savaro or something first, or whatever it was. And it was just, it was ladies' day, lad. It was just all fucking studies and suits everywhere. And I was thinking, what? I'm 32. I feel like a nonsense here, lad. Didn't want to be there at all. And then we just said, oh, let's go somewhere else. And we went to a quiet boozer and just sat down. There was only six of us out. It was me, my bed, him, his bed, and his mate Elliot in his bed. And it ended up being, instead of being like a mad night celebrating, we were just all talking and just telling our stories. And then it was just being surrounded by people. I was just fucking loving the room. And it just started bringing me back up again, going, do you know what? I've done all right there. Like, yeah. we should be proud of what we've achieved. And then just being with them people brought me up. If we would have went straight home or something like that, would have been flat. I would end up fucking fighting my bed or something, do you know what I mean? <laughs> so, you did end up like a fella. Yeah. Dad killed himself. <laughs> <laughs> like, that on the th- like, we haven't even got spindles on our stairs. Who's put these MDF board in the spindles? Where am I going to string myself from? <laughs> he's heavy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah I thought I was heavy. That was a heat run, that man. Ah, it's all good. It's all so good. He's dead. <laughs> he's, he's not going to watch it. That's what's on the cloud. So, uh, what's, your, what's, your, what's, your rec- what's your record? Record? Um, record? Record. Professionally, I've had. <laughs> 11 that, that fights man. yeah professional 11 fights um, 9 wins 1 loss well, 1 no draw contest. and, no you, draw. Oh, and draw. your 1 draw was the, the one you've you've just had haven't you it, yeah. wasn't it yeah I feel like was it a draw though <sighs> see I don't want to I don't want to sit here and, and be, be that one of them yeah, like, yeah 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 I therefore won that fight yeah but you, I, have you watched the fight back a hundred times and do you look and like, how do you approach it? Do you go, I should have won that, or do you go, done that wrong there? Should have done that better? I'm, I'm at first, I watch it as a coach almost, yeah. and as if it's not me. Yeah. Got to be objective and, with it, And yeah. critique the mistakes, yeah. yeah, and praise the good. Yeah. Um, I don't want to say what was good and what was bad, because I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, I'll give it away, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but um, I've watched that fight so many times, and the only reason that they called it a draw was because they say that the first round was a 10-8 to him. Okay. And I won the last two rounds. 10 10 rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Joe Rogan said this fucking scoring system is flawed. It's daft, yeah. Do do you know what it is? There's no consistency. Yeah. The same fight could happen 10 times and there could be five different results each way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's daft. I think the best scoring system, and it's not to lick that ass, is one championship scoring system. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They judge the, the f- give him the contract. Fucking hell, are you? No, I'm with Octagon. <laughs> <laughs> they they judge the fight as a whole. Yeah, we judge the fight round by round. round. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for them, it's one long round. Yeah, yeah. And they judge it based on damage, control, wrestling, stri- yeah. like all the same criteria, yeah, pretty yeah. much. It's just start to finish. We judge it as a round by round. So trying to score the same way that they do in boxing, then it doesn't work. This is what I don't like. The first two rounds, me and him could feel each other out, and it could be dead close. But you could just edge the first two rounds. Yeah. The third round, I could steamroll you. But because it wasn't a 10 8, it was like he just. I'd still win. You still win the yeah, fight. Yeah, yeah. But if we were on the street. Yeah, I would win. If we were on the street. <laughs> 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 if, if we were on the street and that same fight happened, at the end of the fight, everyone would go, he got yeah, I got yeah, punched yeah. in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's yeah. what I don't like about yeah. it. No, I, I feel like, because like, I've, watched, I've watched the UFC for years. Like, I've never. Done, like, like I, I had like a couple of little shit amateur fights like, years ago. Like, when anything. Undefeated. Like, I'm, like, <laughs> 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 Let me be humble. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I'm only messing. I'm only messing. Like, He's not. Don't worry about it. <laughs> but, um, but like. 
I have forgot where I was even going with that now to be fair. Oh yeah, the 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 How hard you the score no it doesn't even need saying that. Um <laughs> but like like the the way the way it, the, the, the the judging in the UFC especially like like I, I, I have watched it for years and like the, the judging now like it's recently it's like, like do, do you still watch as much of it as, as you did? I watch every single weekend, every single event from yeah. If you the early prelims all, all the way through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet on them all, lad. I, 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 I've not got the dolls to be better, lad. <laughs> I, I just watch it, try and predict it, me. But, like, like the, the, the judging in it's ridiculous. Like, like, like the, the round by round scoring. Because in boxing it works because you're watching. Same boxing, lad, exactly. You, you, yeah. You're watching f- for very limited elements of a fight in boxing, but, like, like there's so much, like, there's, there's so many different elements in ways you can be winning, ways you can be losing, ways you can be a stalemate in MMA. You can't score it round by round because like, like you get you get ten nines and ten eights. Like you you could just win a round and it's a ten nine. And what about this? But you could batter someone and not knock them down and it's still only a ten nine. The judging criteria changes by commission. So I didn't know that. It could be one rule in Nevada. Another rule in New York. Oh, sure. Oh, really? Yeah. How daft is that, lad? Oh, that's fucking mad. I didn't know that. There's got to be like a sort of unanimous agreement across the commissions. Like, for instance, two hands on the mat, a grounded opponent. One hand on the mat, not a grounded opponent. Yeah. Go to another state. One hand on the mat, yeah. grounded opponent. Fuck off, yeah. I didn't know so that. So if I would need you in, in New York, I'm disqualified, but if I need you in Las Vegas... Yeah, that's a, yeah, yeah. That's a good, good shout-out. Actually, how are you meant to keep up with that as a fighter? fighter yeah. all that, you know what I mean? Doesn't, he just gets in there he and just, fights. Just, just, just does yeah, yeah, yeah. you know? yeah. I swear to God, <laughs> every event, the ref comes, okay, here's the rules, I already know them. Okay, good luck. And that's the yeah, conversation yeah, we yeah, have before yeah. the fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not asked, I'm going to go in Do you know one championship? Is that is that octagon or is that a ring? It's a it's a circle. It's, it, it's, it's a, a circle. circle cage. Oh, what? so it's not like an octagon. It's just what's that fucking K K one or whatever it is. K one's kickboxing, isn't it? Uh, what's the one where it was fucking? It was that just the original UFC where it was just in a fucking ring. Oh no, just in a ring. Oh, it was yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it's in a ring, but you can still fucking people yeah. turn up in geese and fellas turn up in fucking skis. Yeah. So yeah. even in one championship, it, with that being a uh, just a ring, do you still get like um, points on the control on the on so the defense and that uh, octagon. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Do I fight for this is a ring this is a circle. Okay. It's a full circle. It's it's the same lad. You don't when you're in there, you don't even know it's a mad name yeah. to call it then, isn't it? It's called octagon, but it's in a circle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I suppose who'd you fight for lads? Circle. circle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 same ring to it though, I think, you know what I mean? Like, that's the FC. <laughs> <laughs> but like see, like w- what what fascinates me with MMA as well, like as as a fan of the sport, like even though the sports come on so much, even in the last like ten years, fifteen years, it's still such a young sport. Whereas like f- like like footy, boxing, hundreds yeah, of years. yeah, yeah, hundreds yeah. of years of like heritage and history behind it. Whereas MMA is twenty-five vo- years, is it? UFC, if that, if that, yeah. I don't no, it's think, thirty, no, 30 they, years. Got, got thirty got on, on the globe, globe they? So the I think this year's the thirty, the thirtieth like anniversary yeah. of it. And like obviously MMA is older than UFC, yeah, yeah, but like, yeah, still, yeah, yeah. Like, even still, like, as as a sport, MMA is still so young and it's 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 it's. Nah, but like, but, so but like jujitsu and all that, like they've been around for like hundred. Or am I chatting proper no, shit? No, yeah, yeah, they've yeah, been around for hundreds of years anyway. Yeah, e- even then, though, if you look at jujitsu, so you you can you can Developed say and grown, y- yeah, you can say jujitsu, yeah. but the Gracies it, yeah. took Japanese jujitsu yeah, and yeah, kind of yeah. changed it. Yeah. If you look at the jujitsu that they were using back then. It was for more self defense. Okay. Yeah. It was jujitsu to work against all attackers. Yeah. yeah. If you look at jujitsu now, mm. jujitsu is predominantly sports jujitsu. Yeah. It's jujitsu to beat jujitsu. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Jujitsu's completely changed now. I think the jujitsu back then to the jujitsu now is completely yeah. different. Yeah. And you can say the same for MMA. Yeah. MMA twenty five years ago to MMA completely now. Different sport. Completely different. Yeah. Completely different. Yeah. Yeah. Like that fascinates me though because like you look at you look at people now like fucking like. For, like even like 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 that, that that's the thing people always have like trying to like, like the greatest of all time and they're bringing fighters from like different eras can't and, compare and it's, and it's hard, like it? It, it, like 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 in, in in my opinion like or like I wouldn't say I think he's the he's just my favorite fighter of all time it's probably Anderson Silva okay and in his in his day he looked untouchable. But, but if you he was but the, if, 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 the if, fight now, if you were to bring him from ten years ago today, does the, the fight comes at would he fear up the same? He, 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 he wouldn't he last two rounds. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, he wouldn't because last two of, rounds. Because of how like, because of how much it develops. But like, it's like, was, it's that, just was it Forrest Griffin when he just jabbed him out? Yeah, he was, like who yeah. knocked someone out with a jab? Do you know what I mean? Like, it, it fascinates me because like, because obviously it's like it, it's not just one sport. There's all these different martial arts incorporated into it, and because they're all evolving individually, 
MMA evolved then as a sport, and it's 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 it just fascinates me seeing how like it's like every every ten years there's like a different there's a different practice that seems to be the dominant one. Like yeah. now it's more like 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 you get like your wrestlers and your grapplers. Yeah, your Dagestani you know, just come and just fucking bulldoze the, everyone. Yeah. For me, the the best mixed martial artist that you can look at who says is the full package and has everything right now. Go on, Volkanovski. Yeah, he, I, I love Clearly. Volkanovski. You know, he's he's. I I, he, I think he should be pound for pound number one at the I minute. I think he is. Uh, yeah, he, like, I, I think the rankings don't mean be, anything. He's got to be like like. I think he won the fight against Islam Pace. I don't. Do you know? No, but I still think after what he showed, he put the blueprint there to beat him. Yeah, and he could walk out that cage with his head held high. For me, winning fights or losing fights isn't the important thing for me. The most important thing when I step in that cage is performing to the best of my ability. Just yeah. be better than you were last time. And showcase on what you can do. Yeah, and yeah. And for me, he done that better than anyone else he against did. Islam. Gee, but then the thing is, though, like, like he, you, like, you say, like, he laid the blueprint down to beat him, which, which arguably he did, but it's whether or not somebody can go in there and, and, and replicate that and even so improve know. on that. Because his, his performance, like... To, to, especially against who he was fighting that like it was all it was nearly flawless you know what I mean like he'd done everything he had to do right and it's like there's a few things he missed that, that I'd say but yeah wait, like, like what just out of interest the, the, the back takes I'd say he'd, he'd do well to get to his feet but wouldn't defend the hooks yeah I'd say other than I'd say if he would have just addressed that mm. he would have beaten but isn't it mad because like I'm it's not hard a, to say I'm that not though, a fighter yeah, but you've fucking got a fucking yeah, you've got a yeah. millisecond to start making these decisions yeah so in the moment you're being fucking you're getting webbed in the face you're all over the place you're like shit what am I doing it's a calculated decision mm, so yeah. he'll look back and he'll probably beat himself up over what you've just said about the back takes I, I think he'd be happy with this, his performance I'd be made up if I was him should be yeah, like, I'd be like, made up uh, Islam, what, is, what Islam's done to everyone else bar him and especially coming up a weight class to do it as well <coughs> yeah I like, think being the smaller man not only that, the fact that they found out about him doing the IV drip and stuff. Yeah, that, so that, 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 that was a bit a little bit. I'd be made up if I was him, lad. Yeah. I'd, I'd be buzzing. Yeah, but, but then again, no, do you know the way you say, like, like the, 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 the scoring system, you think it should be judged as a whole fight, not round by round. Do you not think, I think the longer the fight, apart from the fourth round, the longer it went, the more it went in Volk's favour. Yeah. Definitely. Apart from that fourth round, and Islam just sort of sat on his back at the end of the fight. Volkanovski was on top and he was landing shots. Dropped as well. him. Do you not think? Look at his face after exactly, compared to Volk's face. Exactly. Do you, so do you not think? Not to say and use your own words against you, but the way you said it should be scored as a whole if, fight. If I was to judge that fight as a whole, I'd have to now sit down and watch it again. Because yeah, that's I'm telling you what I think based on their scoring criteria. I've only watched okay. it twice. Okay. Yeah. So yeah, if I was to now judge sense. it as a whole, I'd be going off my memory and I'd probably be chatting shit. <laughs> I'd yeah, have to probably sit enough. down and watch it again. Fair Can we Thanks for getting this far on the podcast. Now for a little word from our sponsor, Orange County CBD. Put them on the screen now. <sighs> ha, here we go. Uh, Orange County CBD, use code HAPPEN10 at checkout, and you get 10% off all orders on all products, whether that be your CBD oils, you've got your jellies, you've got your vapes, which are a healthier alternative to the likes of your disposable vapes with the nicotine in. And now they're also doing a skincare range as well. So if you want gleaming skin like ours, Orange County CBD and use code HAPPEN10 in the checkout for 10% off all of your orders. We love you. So, yeah, going in, going in. So, I know you've done a little, uh, you've done a short stint in, in Jug, didn't you? Yeah. Where was you? I was in Walton, lad. Oh, was you, yeah? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Walton, at least. Walton. So, what happened there? <laughs> did, local but, local I know you're saying you were on the run, so what, but you obviously got caught in the end. Like, what happened? So, after I got kicked out of my gym in uh, Malaysia, I've half had nowhere to go. Yeah. There's no other gym in the country that could half facilitate me. Mm. Didn't have that level of training. Yeah, yeah. Um, I went and done a training camp in Thailand, fought in Dubai. Mm. Uh, I ended up winning that fight by knockout. We got my first ever knockout. And that's where I met my manager. Yeah. Um, Sid Mogo Management. Shout out. What's that? Bang, bang. Do you manage podcasts? <laughs> <laughs> um, and... In my mind now, I'm, I'm like in between decisions. Like, what do we do? Where do yeah. we go? Yeah. I can't go back to that. This gym. is gonna come bite you on the ass all one, the time. One day, it? yeah, yeah. So in my head, I was like, "Where can I go? That is the same as Liverpool, but I won't go to jail. Yeah. And I can carry on fighting. Yeah. So I picked Ireland, lad. I can go to Dublin. Yeah. There's no fucking yeah, jurisdiction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Only yeah. way they can get me is if they come and fucking. Yeah, yeah. So you have to come. Yeah, and, and, and if they were gonna do that, they would have done that already. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah so yeah. I thought, fuck it, I'm going to Ireland. I went to Ireland, I was in that SPG for a bit, um, ended up getting kicked out of there. Same thing. Same shit. Yeah. yeah. 
Um, but but I'm shit, though, because it's all about fucking giving people the chance to fucking Listen, rehabilitate and But you know what's mad, though? I, I have, you've half got to understand it, though. From their point of view. Like, I know it's, it's you and you, but, like, you've half got to sort yeah, of get imagine, it from their point of view. Imagine they're investing head, get, so much time and money and effort into you to them. The difference, though, the I, 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 ain't got, I ain't got no hard feelings with SPG. Yeah. I've got hard feelings with me originally. No, yeah, because yeah, yeah, of what? Yeah, because yeah, 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 they just kicked me out. Yeah, they yeah, said, yeah. look, that yeah. good luck yeah. with your career, do your thing, but you can't train here. Yeah, but yeah, they're not crashing your up where they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Send them yeah. photocopies of the plot. No, no, no. When I, when I'm, when I, I don't understand what he done. I'm not saying that at all, but I understand in the gym, say, because yeah. it's, 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 it's a business at, at the Yeah, end of looking at themselves, know what I mean? But I'm glad, like I was saying before, everything happens for a reason. Because I got kicked out of there, I ended up finding my real gym, Dublin Combat Academy. Yeah. Colin Mahone, Craig Coakley, training with them. And their gym was just another another level. Yes. Like, I was a I was a predominantly a grappler mm. and they're all strikers. He, he's just won a contract now to one championship. He Lovely. was on that uh, road to one. You fight and the winner gets a contract. That's like the, the, the ultimate fighter type of type of deal. Yeah, he's, he's just won that show and just got Sick. a hundred grand contract to go one. He, he's yeah, love love. Sick. I've trained with some serious people, serious strikers in Thailand. Yeah. I ain't never met a guy like him. Yeah. Unreal. Really, yeah. Unreal. And I feel like being around him for the two years I was there took my striking to another level. Yeah, yeah it's what you yeah, needed. Yeah, yeah. I definitely needed it at that point. Yeah. Um, I ended up getting an opportunity to fight for my first professional title, mm. but it was in Belfast. Uh, right? So that was the risk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got to sneak into Northern Ireland, fight, come back. I thought, fuck it, I ain't running. Yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. So, so, sorry, I've never been to Ireland. So, do you know, to get from, obviously, t- to sudden into the, the northern end, you don't have to go through any... There's no border, border check. Yeah, no, no, you're, no. Just, you're just going through. If, it's the, car get, if the car gets ragged... Yeah, you're fucked. I'm getting you're in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm just peed up. I'm just yeah. like, that's the driver. Slow down. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit quicker. <laughs> don't turn left here. Ah, <laughs> oh, don't look. That car's, that car's on these. Don't look. No one <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And they're like, lad... It's an hour woman. It's what she wants you to think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Doubtfire. <laughs> so it was during COVID this. So I went up there with my coach. We fought, no crowd. Um, just me and the guy yeah, in the yeah. cage in, in my corner, in his corner. Yeah, yeah. It was the maddest experience. Like, my Matrix fan in the corner waiting for you. <laughs> <laughs> do, you know, do you know what though? It was, it was honestly the best experience in the cage that I've had because it just felt like a sparring session. Yeah, yeah. you're a lot more laid back. Collie was saying, I could hear it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, jab. Now, let left kick. Now, that. And I was just, it was like he was playing the game and I was the character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I ended up choking that guy out in the second round. <clears throat> uh, was it the first round or the second round? He, he got done quick anyway. <laughs> um, I ended up choking that fella out. Won the belt. Come back to Dublin. And I'm like, yeah, we smashed it. Then they've offered me to defend the belt. Now this is when, because I've just won the belt and it's all over social media. Yeah. Lad, you know, all the fake profiles and all the haters and all. Mm, lad, yeah. I was getting comments underneath saying, you're a burglar, you're a scumbag. All of this shit, lad, you know what I mean? Now I've been offered to defend the belt. I'm thinking, this is an even bigger risk. Yeah. yeah. But I thought, fuck it, lad, I'm going to do it. I'm not asked, lad, I'm going up to defend my yeah. belt. Yeah. I went up there. Would you stripped you if you never defended it? Um, yeah, they would have liked, but it wasn't really asked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. anyway, <laughs> pay me, I'll fight. Don't pay me. <laughs> <laughs> fair, 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 I went yeah. up there, defended me belt. The fucking B-wing, <laughs> I ended up fighting a fella from SPG who I trained with. Yeah. Mm-hmm. He used to come to Dublin Combat Academy and train with me as well, so that was a bit weird. Yeah, yeah. Um, I took my first loss. He ended up knocking me out in the first round. Bit of an early stoppage, but whatever it is, what it is. He <laughs> beat me. Ended up losing my belt. It was the first fight my mum ever come to watch me. Yeah. So my mum watched me lose. I hadn't seen my mum for about 10 years. Mm. Uh, and then I got nicked after the fight. Straight after? Yeah. Were you just waiting for it? They just knew, didn't you? I, I Where went, was it? I went to the shop to buy a bottle of water and Neil just stormed in and was like, Shaquimi. <laughs> like, that's not my name, but whatever. <laughs> 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 you know what I like? They butchered everything. <laughs> <laughs> I got nicked. Uh, Matrix come. Took me on the back of the plane. I was on the back of the plane with all civilians. Oh. I'm kicking the guy in front of me, some Asian guy. I'm like, lad, take a picture of me and tag me and put her on Insta. Like. <laughs> <laughs> he was shook. The police were like, that, don't you dare. He was like, sorry, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I was supposed to go to all course. Remanded straight into custody. Um, all course wouldn't accept me. So I ended up going to Walton. Yeah. Uh, I'd done six months on remand in Walton. It was the fucking shittest time of my life. It was COVID. Yeah. We only got out of our cell half an hour a day. 
Oh, he that. wouldn't open the yard so I didn't see sunlight for about four months. Fuck's what you meant lad, that one, eh? It was just horrible. It's a miserable time. I was just in the pad it. every day, shadow boxing, lifting weights yeah. with me fucking homemade shitty bottles and just smoking yeah. a weed. Yeah. And that was me. Yeah. yeah. I was just, it was a stressful time. Sounds lad. quite nice, actually. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so day you, to day. You know when you put it like that, lad, that's, that's all right, you know? <laughs> Um, after six months, I've gone to court, I've ran trial, I've gone not guilty, and I won. And now I've been out a year, just over a year. Lovely, uh, lovely, yeah. lovely stuff. And th- th- things seem to be going like on, on, on an upwards, fucking on an upwards path as well. I, I, I think I seen on Instagram the other week because Paul Smith doing, he's, he's doing, he's fighting Jake Quick, and then is, is that that's off the gone as well? well yeah, yeah. Oh, has he done it, yeah. a little bit of training with him, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. Don't give anything away, but our, ours is training being coming along because I've been, I've been interested. He's sporting a few that. black eyes lately, though. Yeah, yeah. Have you seen a few pictures of him with a black eye? So I've, I've, I think I've been speaking to Paul since like. 2020 yeah. lockdown, all of that. He started doing jujitsu. Yeah, yeah. Sam I do jujitsu. Scouts is yeah. like a common ground. Yeah, 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 so yeah. we just got talking and that. He's a proper cool guy. Like you, you think anyone who has that like kind of platform who I've met in the past, you think they'd be an asshole? Quite yeah. Nine yeah. times out of ten, they yeah. have been an yeah. asshole. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, he's, he's the sound. coolest guy. Yeah, yeah. no, he's, he's boss. Like he's, he's, he's got he, time for everyone. He come into the gym with a t-shirt on with another fighter's name on it, <laughs> and I said that should be a Paul Smith t-shirt. That lad, and he went. Well, I wouldn't wear a t-shirt with my own name on. <laughs> and I thought, fuck, I do that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I've got Shemlock t-shirts, I bust them everywhere. I thought, oh, fuck, that to myself. <laughs> but yeah, yeah but I, tra- I, I trained with him. I was like, I, I, I knew, I knew like he really wanted to do this because yep. I've spoke to him mm. before about yeah. jiu-jitsu and he was, he was lifting weights through lockdown. He got in good shape and that. So I knew he had like a, a want drive, and drive. Ambition, yeah. But when I seen like his willingness to take on the knowledge and... Like, I could have said something and he could have just been like, yeah, yeah, you're not uh, the coach. Yeah. Because I yeah. was his training partner, the coach is teaching the class. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd tell him a little add-on or I'd say, maybe don't do that, try this because you're a bigger guy. Yeah. yeah. And he'd be like, okay. And then we'd brainstorm and he'd be like, what about it? And lad, I was just so surprised like how yeah, quick nice. he took yeah. to it, how he, everything I'd show him, he picked it up or he'd try it if he didn't get it. Yeah. And that's how you do eventually get it. Yeah. I feel like... I've been watching the guy who he's going to fight. I've been having a little look, seeing yeah. him hit pads. There's not too much out there, but lad, There's anyone levels. who hits pads with a fucking hoop earring is getting smashed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I yeah, you're not lasting very well. I think, I think Paul's going to take him down and just maul him, lad. I, I think. hope, yeah, I hope no. so, you know. It's going to go off that. Anyway. I think after two minutes of that fucking cunt on top of you and you're just breathing heavy, at some point yeah. he's going to be like, I'm getting paid. Yeah. yeah. I'll just tap and go over. Yeah. Yeah. Aren't you fighting on the same card as him? Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Is that yeah. when is that when your next fight is? Is it? So, I don't know if I'm really meant to say this. My manager will probably go on one, but whatever. I mean, <laughs> official announcement. <Yeah. laughs> I mean, we'll keep it and find out. If not, just let us know and we'll it. take it out. I'm gonna fight July, August, because I don't want to sit round and wait till November. Yeah, 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 yeah. Quite a quick term now. That though, when was your last fight? Like two weeks ago? Two weeks ago? Um, two weeks from Saturday. Come yeah, on. yeah, two weeks from Saturday. Yeah. Do you yeah. Rather, would you rather stay active though? I feel like throughout my whole career, yeah, I've only ever fought once or twice a year. I was yeah. doing these big massive cuts to featherweight. Yeah. It fucked me body up. <clears throat> I'd find it hard to get matchups. No one wants to fight this guy who's finishing everyone in the first round. Yeah. yeah. I didn't really have the fucking clout I've got now, so then the risk reward ratio wasn't really yeah. there. Yeah. Now I'm at this point where like I can make seventy K and it won't damage my body. Is seventy key lightweight? Yeah. Yeah. I fight at lightweight now. Um, I can be super active doing these cuts without hurting myself and I just want to make up for lost time where I've been yeah. in jail and yeah. where I yeah. wasn't as active yeah. and like like you were saying before, I'm in my prime now, lad. Yeah. yeah. It's now or never. That's yeah. it, lad, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I just want to keep going, keep building the experience and just fucking smash heads in. Yeah. yeah. Is the goal for you still the UFC? The goal. Go on. I'm interested by this, you know. Is the highest bidder. Uh, Whoever I pays like me that. the most money. Probably the fucking UFC then, lad. <laughs> I am ha- I'm so though. happy. I am so happy that I'm with Octagon. Yeah. Ev- like when I've come out of jail, like it's like everything just straight up. Like yeah. when a rapper comes out of jail, like yeah. everyone wants to yeah. buy yeah. Yeah. Stuff, yeah. That's what it was like. Yeah. And yeah. That, or they get banged in the gym changes. <laughs> yeah. Like that one. <laughs> you get to see the video when he got yeah. filled yeah. in on the gym. The Who? Rats. That's a t- 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 nine. nine. Didn't you oh, see d- it? oh yeah, 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 yeah. Seeing that, yeah. <laughs> <Big class>. <laughs> yes, <laughs> did you not, did you not see what? The, that there's no. I mean, apart from the fucking tattoos on his face, like with his name on, he was he was on one of them fucking you know them stair machines in the gym with 
with, with, with a fucking big coat on and yeah. that. <laughs> I wouldn't put it past the type of cloud chaser he is. Yeah, to set that, that, that was all stage. Yeah, yeah. 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 cameras in the changes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not yeah. relevant no yeah. more. Let yeah. me just get fucked. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why is the ring lights lad? If that weren't meant to happen, and he had foundation. But yeah, I I feel like coming out of jail, big fucking. Boost up in me I was, go, was going to say where did, where, did, where did the clout all come from Was it when you come out of jail I kind of feel bad, like Loads of prison guards everywhere <laughs> I kind of feel like I, I, Just before jail I was doing alright on the socials and that Yeah And then when I went to jail All that disappeared <clears throat> I come out and like Half of my followers Unfollowed me lad Yeah because yeah, get yeah. on this like right, Because oh, I, I hadn't I hadn't really uh, heard of you And then all of a sudden It was just like I, I, I seen you everywhere and yeah, I remember, I, was, sudden, I, remember yeah. I went for a, I went for a scran in Chinatown and it was me, me bird and me mate and you walked in and I was just like oh there he is there. Uh, why didn't you shout me <laughs> down like, oh, listen this is like uh, flappy lad yeah, it was about, you, did, I would have given it that sorry you were you lad <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, I think, he would have shouted the same the, name as the busiest what's the, 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 <laughs> what's the name of the Chinese in town it did it on, on Chinatown is it the well, fucking capital is it it might yeah it, yeah, yeah I think it was do you yeah. always go in there do you Nah, no. Thought you would have been a local or so, lad. Do you know what? I, I have this problem all the time. Do you know when I go to eat with people, I just watch them eat. Because I uh, can't eat nothing in the gaff. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and, and lad, I, I can it's see like when they're eating, they're like, aren't you going to nah, eat anything? Gary's got that I'm same like, problem. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what? was funny, right? <laughs> Here we go, come on. I, <laughs> when I was 19 years of age and I was training in the gym and all that, I used to fight at 55k. <laughs> the state of me now, lad. <laughs> oh, he was, you were, do you know what? I you couldn't, were proper, like, I fucking. couldn't. What would you be now if you were to take it serious and cut down, uh, what you reckon? Hell, 70k. I don't know what fuck cut now. So I used to, I could never, ever tip the scales over nine stone up until I was about 23 years of age. Yeah, I was just skin and well. bones. Yeah. And then, like, now... So I think just I'm like 40 like man, and 8. Man age just hits nah, you nah, you just man. go. Like, I used to be a pizza delivery driver, right? And I, I used to get free food all the time. And I used to scrant <laughs> every night of the week. <laughs> and never put any weight on me. Brothers used to go, lad. We were the same when we were young. Your metabolism's going to catch up with you, lad. What, you're going to put all on? And I was like, nah, I'm not, you know? And now I'm just pregnant. I'm For just me, swollen. it was 25. <laughs> well, as soon as I hit 25, yeah. it was same. like the yeah. weight just... Boom. Yeah, lad, yeah, yeah. I, I hit 25 in December and I'm still built like a prisoner of war. Lad. <laughs> honestly, lad, honestly, I'm, st I'm still I waiting. The boy in the striped pajamas. The boy in the technicals freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> sure. So, where is it you're saying now? Is it in next gen? Where you're saying now? Is it? Yeah, so I'm in next gen. Paul Rimmer, Ellis Hampson, mm. Adam Venture. Obviously, you've got Paddy and Molly. Yeah, there, yeah. All of the Cage Warriors lads are all yeah. doing yeah. well. Like, I feel like we got the strongest team in the UK right yeah. now. Who's that? Who's the lad I always see now? He's in Upper Humber, is he in next? So, something Riley? Luke Riley. Luke Riley, he's doing, killer. He's doing good, him, lad. He's lad, doing really killer. well. Yeah. Like, He'll be, yeah, he's, I reckon he's next up, him, lad. I he's think a fucking good as, fighter, as, him. His last fight, he had to show his heart. Um, he put on a good performance. I know he's a little bit hard on himself because he didn't get a finish in that yeah. fight, but for me, once you've shown your heart, you've already seen, shown you can finish people. Yeah, yeah. Once you've shown that, then for me, you've seen a few. Package, lad, seen yeah. a few of his clips on his Instagram, lad. He's a fucking good fighter. So, <laughs> so what's next? I know you were saying you. So you've got your, you've got your, your. Can you say how many fights you've got left? And no, and you can't. Okay, cut okay. that. Fuck hey, out. just talk about Joe Rogan right there, quick. Have you seen the clip when he's got a uh, Bill Bear on the podcast and they're watching Bill Bear ask him, "Has he seen the video with the cyclist fella?" So in America, um. These, like, this mum is with a daughter, and her daughter's about 13, right? And the cyclist is just fuming at them, and, like, they're recording them. And this, like, 13-year-old girl's holding some paper, and the cyclist is trying to, like, rag it off her. And he's, like, malhandling, and he's ragging everywhere and getting this paper off her. And uh, and Joe Rogan's just, like, he's sitting there with Bill Burr, and he's, like, watching it just dead quiet. And he's, like, if that was my daughter, he went, I'd be in an orange jumpsuit right now. And Bill Burr goes to him, Joe. It's not your daughter. He went. Sure, you, he went. You just gone to a dark place. He was like. He said in front of me, Joe Rogan just changed. He went. It was. He was envisioning that being Probably his daughter. Never that day. And what he was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Look, I get that. Yeah. He didn't have his ice bath in the yeah. morning. Bro, do you know? Like, I finish training on a Friday. I get to Monday. I could be walking the gym, and someone looks at me, and I'm just thinking, "What the fuck are you looking at?" <laughs> yeah. On a Thursday, I go morning, lads. Right? <laughs> yeah. It gets like that. Yeah, That's yeah, hard, yeah. though, because you're a professional trained fighter. In the eyes of uh, in the law in a courtroom and all oh, that, yeah. your hands and feet and Registered head are weapons, weapons aren't they? Yeah. So you, it, you have, yeah, you have yeah, head. Head. <laughs> well, uh, yeah. I said, well, I know, but <laughs> <laughs> David did. So I David fucking 
he got nicked ages. Well, he got jumped on the train. They robbed his phone and then he fucking webbed them everywhere. And he butted one of the lads out. I'm sure that was the story. And in the court, they were like, "Your head's a weapon." He was like, "It's a hammer." He was like, "You fucking three of them robbed me phone. You dickhead, what to do?" Had, uh, butted them clean out. Depends how fast his head is, though. Yeah, nah, Dave's got a massive. Yeah, head, like, he's got a big head. Yeah, yeah, I feel yeah, like last week my ass box, like he ruined it. <laughs> 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 Daddy walked out, you know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was this fast as well, I just slid out laugh. Like, oh, Do you know what's man. weird, right? You're gonna have to show him a picture to you before, like, like, like when you were skinny. Training and that. Right? Oh, not, laugh. Do you know what's mad, right? He doesn't you know, even look like, like him. Right? It's weird. He doesn't suit it. He doesn't suit it. Like, no, he that's doesn't. That's because you know him now, though. Nah, yeah. but you know the way, like, like, you know if you see someone who's a fat cunt, like, <laughs> like, if, if you see, like, like yeah. no, 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 but if, you, like see, a, like if you see, a, if you see a bird who's a fat cunt, but then he used to be skinny, you can go, Hey, she was heavy back in the day, eh? But, like, it's like he, he didn't suit it. Do you know what? I, I, I'll agree with this one point. I've never seen them birds who are a bit big, and you go, if she lost the weight, she'd be gorgeous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. then they lose the weight, and you go, ah, she's yeah, fucked she herself. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's I my man, that isn't it? <laughs> 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 what are you doing? Are you getting the picture up? Is I'm going to try and find one, yeah. lost all that weight? I d- Adele's heavy. Yeah, but she know. lost yeah. all that weight, got cornrows. Listen, yeah. lad, no, but lad, well, Adele, no, but she, she, lost she had no money and she weren't famous, you're telling me you'd see her and go, ooh. Well, what you fuck, lad? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but lad, she lost all the weight, got cornrows, wore like Jamaican bras and all that. I went to fucking carnival. That was a weird <laughs> thing. <laughs> <laughs> I, was I, was I, I seen her speaking about that and she said her Instagram is controlled by someone else yeah. and that's the only post that she ever made herself oh boss oh really, really yeah the one over a carnival and that <laughs> what she got <laughs> ribbon for yeah she Mad did like, she did nah do you know mm, any publicity is good publicity in that world though yeah, 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 yeah. if people are slagging you know or not unless you're, you're still nonce. trending yeah, yeah. unless you're nonce. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, haven't even, I haven't even I haven't even showed you this one this isn't even that long ago still good publicity though because everyone knows who Jimmy Savile is lad. <laughs> this is yeah, only oh I've got a he was a national treasure before he was a five years ago Oh. That's five years ago. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I mean? No. Hey, no, look, I've got a funny one on Jimmy Savile for you. Go on, go on. Go ahead. So, <laughs> every good story starts. Eh? <laughs> so, obviously, when I signed to Octagon and that, they're all promoting me on the page and that. Yeah. They were like, um, oh, we want to do this thing where we say five amazing facts about a fighter. Yeah. Give me five facts. <laughs> so I've been like, oh, we um, got nuns by Savile. <laughs> so I'm, I, I've given them four facts, like, oh, I was on the run. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I started with jujitsu. I couldn't think of a fifth fact. So with me make me mates like, I tell them Jimmy Savile's your uncle for a laugh. <laughs> so I'm going, all right, I will do. <laughs> I thought Jimmy Savile is my blood uncle. Bro, they've posted the first one, come up. The first one is a picture of me and the writing says, my blood uncle is Jimmy Savile. <laughs> and I thought, oh my God, what have I done here, lads? <laughs> it, it got sucked down within half an hour. <laughs> That's fucking incredible. Right, what are we here? Right, I've got a question for you. Right, go on. I here we go. This, I seen this on Twitter yesterday. This and is the screen, funny shit I was waiting for. A screenshot of it for this today. Because okay. I thought... It's a mad question because at first I was like, yeah, all day, but then the more I thought about it, I was like, oh, oh he's no. had time to think. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the answers. Right. <laughs> I have, I, look, I've, I've, got, I've only got the opinion. Go on. I haven't got the answer. Right, so 10 million cash in your hand I'll right now. I mean, <laughs> but there's a catch. Okay, go, go on. on. So it says a snail is chasing you for the rest I've of your life. Yeah. If it touches you, mm. you're dead. you die a terrible death instantly. I've had this the one. rules are. The snail can't be killed. Oh. It knows your location at all times. And its only purpose is to find and kill you. Are you taking the 10 mil? Easy. Well Easy. He does, he, look, do you know I'm what not, he missed? I've he never been touched by a snail. He life. didn't say you can't trap the snail. Oh, yeah? I'll just trap it in a glass. Boom. See you later, lad. I'll take it with me everywhere I go. I'm, I've got eyes on the snail now. Keep your friends close, innit? Yeah, 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 close, yeah. Like, you know. But if you fuck up, he's that close that you'll die if you're asleep or See, something. That's, yeah. what I'm nah. that's, the, that's the game nah, you play, you know. I just look, I just have me snail in a tub of it everywhere I go. Put him in a clippy. You lying in bed, just empty your fucking canister of salt round your bed, lad. Snails aren't coming across salt. He said they can't die. Can't kill the snail. You're not killing it. You just like salt in your bedroom. He's a dickhead if you go down. No, but the part the thing is, is like the snail's invincible. Yeah, so it'll just go right. over that even, if, like, even like, if you like, change yeah. country every day there's no way a snail can move that fast okay it's, but within the bounds is it like turbo like, within the bounds these are the question right what's he doing say, you, on the Ryanair say you fly to Malaysia it's going to take him a week off, to get there you get off the plane snail's there waiting he can't you said he's got to travel it's yeah, so but I, I, I never said that he said no, that but no, he's the, making new news yeah, yeah. yeah. how's the snail getting to Malaysia it's a snail that can't die and kills you it defies the laws of physics already 
Don't worry about You're that. You're just coming no, up with this no, idea. Yeah, I that one in, did you? Don't worry about how it's getting in. The fact of the matter is... The snail's getting a one there. contract, are they? The, the fact of the matter <laughs> is, the snail's there. If you try and leave the country, you get off that plane, well, snail. Right, well, if I was ever going on holiday, then I'd just fly to London and then just get the train back from London up, up home. Because then I'll leave at least got yeah. about three weeks there. Yeah. Three weeks, lad, longer? Fuck off, you see how long snail, you don't come at? Nah, I reckon, I reckon it'd find a little way to get picked up by a crow. What if it just stuck <laughs> on the yeah, yeah, train? Find a little he knows people here in the sky, lad. What if it stuck on the train, stuck to the train, goes yeah, with Jenny Yeah, I reckon, it, I reckon it'd take it a few days. <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Best lad, effort. I'm days. taking that 10 mil. <laughs> Fuck that snail, lad. Are you telling me you're not taking the money? 10 mil, lad. Listen. Cause like right, this. Let's be own. honest. How long have you got to live, lad? Danny's riddle. Yeah. Anyway, um, Danny's riddled with rhythm as a dancer, lad. I have not got cancer. <laughs> says this every week. <laughs> oh fuck me. <laughs> says it, I'm like, oh, I need to put weight on. You can't. You got cancer. <laughs> what a weird. You're gonna manifest cancer for I me. I never said that. By the way, yeah, that was these. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's not. Isn't it weird? I had nothing to do with him, but he says it every week. I had to start to get to me. Would you take it though? I'm just you? jealous because I don't look like it. I, yeah. I, I mean, I'd, see, this is my only thing though. <clears throat> Everyone sleeps. So what if this snail just gets in? Then you're dead. The risk, well, you just got to make sure you're more than nine hours away from the snail. In it though. Every night you sleep. Or sleep for three hours, like. set an alarm, move, sleep again for three. That is effort, that though, for ten. It mil. is hard. Like, Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it is I know effort. it's ten mil, but imagine having to watch your back. Do you know what though? Snail. Think about it like this: Would ten mil change your family in the next generation for the rest of their life? It depends think, what you do with the 10 mil though, innit? He's selfish, he's an ass about his family. No, no I'd, 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 I'd box them off. Like, I'd keep most I'd of them. I'd box them off. Grand. You know, you know, like, I'd buy them a car. I'd take them on holiday. I'd be like, look, I've got you this dead bread and it's this snail in a box. Now keep that. <laughs> and keep your eye on that hey, at all times. I'd, I'd put five grand on the bank for miles for you, know, that's about it. What was that <laughs> question you asked ages ago, lad? Um, I can't remember the, 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 the full it's fucking... It's a good start, Yeah, no, I can't remember the full scale of it, but it was like... You could, you got this money, but like everyone thought you was this one thing. Okay, right, right. Okay, listen to, oh, listen to this. On, right, this on, is a good one. This, as you're thinking. It. Right, okay. So, I've got the answers. Okay, <laughs> let's. We got pick, the questions. Let, let, <laughs> let's pick your brain then. So, you can either, right? There's no money on the line for this either. By the way, it's just, it's just, it's just a question. You can either. So, what, what was? But the, what would be the incentive to do? He's financially no driven. That shit. Yeah. Isn't it, lad? I, 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 I need to figure out the way to work the money into it. You, you, you work the money into no, it. Let me just say this. Without the money, if it's easier. Right, okay, okay. Right, so the, the, the thing was, right, would you rather shag a pig and no one knows you've shagged the pig? No, I don't know. Or, it, it, or not shag the pig, but everyone thinks you have. Yeah, so, yeah. Second one. Not shag the pig and everyone thinks yeah. you shagged it. Yeah. Wouldn't be asked. Really? It just make me a more famous fighter, fucker. Yeah, I'm the pig the, the shagger. Pig shagger. Yeah. <laughs> like, <"Way!" laughs> it is what it is. I didn't even put on. it as me MMA moniker. But I it. I'm <laughs> fully <laughs> lean into it. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, now, fuck nah, it. but it weird. That one, it was like. No, but I, I used to ask that question. I used to say, I like, know, where was the money in that? Yeah, like, I, I, don't, I, I can't remember the question. I'm not going to make that one up. That's even worse. He made that up. I just wanted to wing that. No, but one I've asked in the past is I've said, like, oh, for 300 grand. Would you drive around, right, in a car that had non-spray paint on the side for the rest of your life? And but, but you're not, not actually a monster, are you? But you're not a monster, are you? Yeah, but you said the rest of your life. Yeah. So, I'm going to be pulling up to some big events and fucking non with a non-spray. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I got brand new Bentley, non spray I, I seen a Wait, video. Wait, if I buy a new car, will it say non on the side? Yeah, or yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah, no, yeah, if yeah. I can do that, I'll do it. Yeah, really, yeah. Not on this side. Not a fucking car. I just keep changing my car. But it's still gonna say nonsense. Yeah, I just say someone's doing it to me. <laughs> <laughs> I, say, I say, boys, I don't know what's going on. We need to get to the bottom of this. <laughs> he's <a> figure <laughs> out who's got all his paint. <laughs> um, that's French, that lad. That's Nosé. <laughs> Nosé. No, I seen a video the other day. Some fella stopped. Like he does, like all videos on the street and all that. And he stops some fella and he goes, "If I give, if I give you three million pound now, what would you say?" And he'd be like, oh, "Fucking thank you. We made up." He went, "But." You don't wake up in the morning. And he's like, nah, nah, I'm not taking it. He went, 
So you've just proven now your life's that your life's important. more important than three million I pounds. Seen that. Uh, I seen that. So why that. don't you wake up every day and fucking cherish life? I disagree with him, mad. Because I seen that the other day. It was like, do what are them motiv- Like some people like who are on Instagram and they're like motivational speakers. Some of them I don't mind them, but you know some of them you who, take it too far. Some don't of them do proper chat shit. And they're like, if you're not willing to eat glass in the motor, like that, wait there, lad. Yeah. Like, like I'm trying to be a comedian, bro. Like, no, no, <laughs> <what I> mean, <laughs> then, so, like, so no. So he, he was saying like he, he, was, he was chatting ten mil. Yeah. And he was like, but you don't wake up in the morning. Like, so what you've just said to me there is, nah, waking shit. up every morning is worth more to you than 10 million. I was like, Lad, no, no, it isn't. All right, then. So like, let's say, if I, I wake up is. tomorrow, I'm still not going to have 10 mil. But your life is worth more than that 10 mil that you would have if you weren't alive. But it depends what you do with your life, though. Yeah, but you, you specifically. Okay, well, I'm going to be biased, aren't I? Yeah, you're going to pick but the But what I'm saying, though, it, it, it's not that I even, think... I think even a crackhead who smokes crack every day would still think, nah, waking up and smoking crack is crack. amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd, I'd have that over 10 mil and be dead. But the way I was thinking about it... Because who's he going to give it to? It? The way I was thinking yeah, about exactly. it, though, it's like... It, 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 it's, it's, it's a mad thing to put money on, though, because, like, like, it's not that I think waking up every morning is worth... I mean, it probably is worth more than 10 million, but... I just don't want to die tomorrow. The 10 million is pointless. Because I couldn't even go, I couldn't even be like, oh, well, at least I get a holiday in first. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. If you could get a holiday, you could get a holiday. And I said, I never got it. The best holiday in life. 10 mil, you got two weeks of it. Listen, lad, I'd have that 10 mil in my dead after 10 days. I'd have over the top. Yeah, you'd be dead anyway. But I'm just going to, I'll wait till the 13th day of that two weeks. All right, then, serious question. Serious question. You've got an unlimited amount of money, like... Like, you'll never run out, but you've only got 10 years left. All day. Yeah. Ten, really? Yes. Yeah. All day. Yes. 10 years? What? Yeah. Come on. Unlimited amount of money. It depends where you are in life, right? Come like, on. I've got. Imagine f- how famous I'd be as a comedian, lad. Imagine that. I'm already till. Why would it. you want to be a comedian if you've got unlimited money, lad? Exactly. Because I, I want to be a comedian anyway. Yeah. I just have the best comedians to do comedy for me. I'm 32. I'm 32. I've got four kids, right? Unlimited. Fuck me, he's gonna bail his kids. <laughs> yeah, fucking right? hell, lads. No, but li- listen, right. The way I'm living my life, at 40, at 42 years of age, I'm gonna be fucking riddled anyway with all kinds of like clogged arteries from my fat yeah, yeah, I'm finished. Did it. Yeah. So, like, the job I'm in now, right, I get 15 times my salary for death and service. So if I was to die tomorrow, Jordan is employment with me pension and what I get, me bed be walking away with about 900 grand, right? I'll tell her that she kill you. She wants to kill me. <laughs> she always, every day she goes to me, I'd be sad, but. <laughs> but it set us up. So if I had a bit of arsenic in the studio, if I had, 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 had ten years, right? And listen, I lost my dad when I was when I was five, so I know what it's like to fucking lose a parents. It's it's fucking it's hard and it affects yeah. you. But if I had unlimited money, you're just like my kids. I get over yeah, it. Yeah, get over it. It would have been I a lot easier. Over, I got over it. If you left listen, the mill. I, 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 I got over it on the skins. Imagine getting over it when you're fucking millionaires. You know what I mean? Nah, no way. I'd like, like, give me kids the best ten years life's ever. Too precious, Make some lad. ridiculous memories yeah, with them. Life's too precious, lad, to be Think, fucking from. Nah, do you know what I'm thinking? Do you know? Do you know when that last week you'd regret it? Oh yeah, hundred percent. You'd know that last week. You'd hate it. You'd have all that money. You wouldn't even want to spend it anymore. With some of that, sad. Shut up, let, let me die with unlimited money. Like. <laughs> let me be happy with my decision. Question with some of that unlimited money. What are you doing to that fella who wants a gym in Malaysia? <laughs> <laughs> I can't say them things on camera. <laughs> <laughs> Right, yo, then. Right, I think we're going right. to call that an episode. Just, that, you know? yeah, just before we go, uh, your socials, anything you want to plug, anything you've got coming up. Make sure you go and follow me at Shemrock BJJ on Instagram, at Shemrock MMA on Twitter, TikTok. Shout out all my sponsors. Shout out all the lads at Next Generation. Boom. And that's where you can get any information on yourself. That's what you use most yeah. of your Insta and your Twitter and that. Happy yeah, days. All the Shem socials will be down below in the description. If you've enjoyed the episode, like the video, subscribe to the channel. What's happening at comedy.com forward slash Mitch? Get on that as well. We'll see you in the next one. Mwah. See you later.